back, Lisa with Junk Journal Gems. I am continuing on with my promise that we can go through and finish some of these pages. They're of the um, grungy journal and there's probably some things that I will need to still do off camera, but I wanted to complete this. Sorry it took me a while, but I was traveling out of town for work and girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. What I've got out here today is, of course, the journal and the pages that we're gonna work on. But I also have my acrylics, my acrylic paints out. And these are nothing special, nothing expensive. These are just the Artist Loft brand from Michaels. And I just have the little tubes. They work out really well for me. I'm not a big painter. I have no idea how to paint, but I do like to add this as kind of a, a layering piece, I guess I would call it. Sometimes I actually use acrylic paint as a base of a collage in my journals, and you may have seen me do this in journals before. So I just wanted to go through and do some of this. And where there was a page in particular that I was eyeballing up. Where did it go? Um, here we go, I think. Yeah, this one I wanted to kind of scale back with either some paint or some of my white acrylic gesso. So I'm just gonna kind of start here first, I think. And maybe with this one, oh goodness. I just have some of my paint brushes here. And what I'm gonna do with this is just get my brush. Let's see if you can see all this paraphernalia. This is just a mason jar of water I've got out here. I'm just gonna dip my brush in there a little just to barely get it wet and dip it in my gesso. And then I'm gonna brush it lightly onto my page because I still want to see this in the background I'm just going to knock it back a little bit. I think I want the words out a little bit more. Yeah, I like that better. So if ever you use um, book pages and things in a journal that you're making, or you're looking at a page and trying to figure out, eh, do I really want to put this in or not? Know that you can use it as an interesting page, but if the colors just aren't quite what you had in mind, you can always knock it back with a little bit of gesso. So now I'm feeling really good about that. But what I might actually want to do is I've got blues and greens running through the journal. So I'm gonna take my acrylics and pick out maybe a blue that I can use. I think this one is Oh my goodness. I'm trying to read. Oh, that's kind of a teal green. That's definitely not what I'm looking for. And sometimes I do need to mix paints to get a color I am looking for, which we may need to do today. Hmm. I'm going to get a little mixing cup. I just use for mixing cups, this is a minute rice cup. I use these in yogurt containers for mixing or a paper plate. And that's another thing I like to use. I think this blue. Yeah, that I can knock back a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little dab in the corner here. And then what I'm going to knock it back with, I think, hmm, is what 
do I want to knock it back with? I'm going to try a little bit of, oh my gosh, I, you can tell I haven't used these paints in a little bit, in a minute. I haven't used them in a minute. I don't know that I want to knock it back with black. That would just make it too dark. Maybe we'll try this. This color is a burnt sienna. The first blue that I used was called Thallo Blue. We'll try our burnt sienna. Mix it up and see what we get. I just want an itty bitty bit. So that's what I've got. And I, I get real I mean, wow, fancy here. I just used the end of a paintbrush. Yeah, that's knocking that back a little bit more to a color that I can live with. More in keeping with what the journal has. And as you can see, I'm not looking for a masterpiece here. I'm grunging a journal. I really like acrylics because you get that heavier, opaque look. Just cleaning it off a little bit in the water. My paper towel. Beautiful day today. Husband has his dogs out for a walk. He's such a old farm boy. He's always got to be outside. And this makes a good background then for collage and gives it a little bit of interest. Now what I think I'm going to do is take some of this green. This color is called sap green, but all of the greens that I had were a little too bright for me. So I'm just putting another dab in there. This green reminds me of like a green grass type of green. And it is, again, not what I'm looking for. So, it, I'm going to mix it up with the blue a little that we had going on here, and I like it. Now here I'm just going to come in and dab it a little bit. Give it another layer of color. And you guys, I am not an artist. There's somebody out there right now who's probably professionally trained thinking, what on earth is she doing? And here's the thing. I'm doing what I like. I'm doing what pleases me. And that is what you should do too. Never let someone criticize your creativity or journal making because it should all be about what kind of fun and enjoyment you are having in your creativity and your creative time. So bless my family's heart. I'm pretty sure they don't get what I do nor do I expect them to. It just isn't their thing, which is okay. But they do not criticize what I do. And they're supportive and encourage me in my fun. And that's what it's about, really having fun. And that is what and do that. 
You can always water down acrylic paint too. Okay, clean that more that up more later. But I'm gonna pause the camera while I dry this so that we can move on. All right, I had had my heat tool on it. It is dry, in fact, it's hot to the touch. I hope you're all having a good day and having a little fun crafting. I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to use that on a different page. <clears throat> but let's see what else we've got to play with on that page. Hmm, that gives me an idea. I have this embossed paper here that I think I have maybe a wild idea to do, but I wanna see what else I have. I also have this, and I thought about fussy cutting out some of that which I think I will do. I'm just gonna, or do I want a bug? Mm. I'm not feeling buggy, but I am feeling like fussy cutting this out. Went to see one of our sons today. We had to sign some papers and do some necessary things, and then we still got to, <coughs> pardon me, go out for lunch and spend some time with him and see one of his roommates. believe Easter is right around the corner. I'm sorry if I've been off camera. I think I probably have. <clears throat> but Easter is like coming right up, isn't it? And if you're watching this after Easter, hope you had a nice holiday. Hope it was spent with family and friends. And I like this digital kit. Now this digital kit, I will I'll have to put a link down below on. Um, I just love this one. It just has such great collage paper. And I love fussy cutting out images from it. It's just really great. Thank you for bearing with me through that. But then see what I mean about having this as a background? If I would have just plopped this onto this piece of paper or this book page, this image would not have been nearly as interesting. What I am going to do is I am going to still take one more step and just darken the edges of this a bit. Because that will make it stand out even more. So 
especially on the side where it will be laying up against the book page. Fun, fun. for me. Some of you might say, Lisa, that's a silly question for you. <laughs> the inking is never enough for me. I am a heavy inker. You ink how much you like. And sometimes I do things really lightly, but I would say most often I'm heavy or handed, but see what I mean, how it kind of gives it a border. And I have another idea that I might also do. Okay, let's get this on the page though. And it is so nice now that spring is in the air. Absolutely wonderful. Being in Wisconsin, the conference that I said I um, was just at happened to be in Florida. And although you're at a conference, you really don't get to do anything outside or, you know, like a tourist or anything. I'm not there on vacation, but I did at the end of a day and in the middle of the day took a step outside and it was just nice to absorb a little warmth and some sunshine. And I'm glad spring is on its way. Okay, so there's that. Now, my next idea is I'm gonna take my Sharpie pen, which I love these for journaling, but I am going to go around this. And I actually want it to, I don't know, the word that comes to my mind right now is be a little stringy looking meaning imperfect in my brain. Because if it were perfect, I feel like it would just get kind of lost there. But I'm not gonna do it obviously on this side because I wouldn't see it. Now what I could do is get like a white Posca pen or a, a white gel pen and go over it that way but I don't think I want to. I do love this, so glad we're doing this. And then it is perfectly imperfect. Okay, so that is that page. Now, another thing I wanted to do I'm going to this is another um, embossed piece of craft paper that I have that I'm going to make into a little booklet but where I wanted to do that I wanted to do a bit of painting and collage here as well and where's my little cup I think this time I want more of the sap green and make that a little um, darker green. Words, Lisa. I want to get this open. I need to get another. Oh, I got it. This is called Burnt Umber. I want to get another darker brown. I keep forgetting every time. I just get cheap paints. I wanted to pick some up at 
Walmart. I never have my head on straight when I'm at Walmart to remember to do that. And these are just cheap, um, cheap paintbrushes that I'm using. They're the Artist Loft brand. I have better brushes for when I am trying. Notice I said trying to watercolor paint. I would love to take a watercolor class. I don't know why I'm so enamored with it, but it's just amazing to me. It's just an amazing talent to me. I'm pretty close to what I was looking for here. And it's just, kind of trial and error with this. There we go. That is what I'm looking for. cap on before I forget. Let's come on. I'm picking up now some of the um, blue in the bottom of the cup. And I didn't dry off my paint. This is just very abstract. It's not supposed to be a specific plant. What I'm basically doing is bringing in color. And I like that. Now some of you might be going, ew, I hate it. That's fine. That's totally fine. You've got to do what suits you. All right, I'm gonna get my heat tool back out. I'm gonna pause and I'll be back. And I'm back. Okay, I'm gonna reopen the gesso here. And I'm gonna get up my scruffy sheet. Get a little messy again. Got my mini mister out here. And I'm just gonna take a bit of gesso, blop it on the cover here. Then, I wonder. Hope I didn't get my head in the way there. Just trying to find a grungy, loose brush. I'm gonna grab one. Okay, sorry if I'm jiggling the table too. What I'm gonna do here so I'm just going to mist this in the cover a little bit to loosen up that gesso. Not quite loose enough. Wait. Let's 
let's try that. I'll try that. I'll give it a whirl. Now, I am terrible at this. We'll see how this goes. Um, let's see something here. Another piece of paper towel, because I only want to get a certain area. See, this is what I do. I get it everywhere but. Let's do this. Again, just until you're happy. Now I've got to dry again. <laughs> so hold on and I'll be right back. Okay, what I'm doing now, I've got this all dry and I found a label after searching and belaboring quite a bit. And I have this um, number seven that I stamped out on some coffee dyed paper and fussy cut that out. But I'm feeling like, <clears throat> excuse me, in addition to that, I want some texture in the background. And this is a black and kind of an antique gold color. The antique gold is what I use to sew in the journal, um, like the around the pages and so forth. So it the colors is what I'm trying to say, goes with the rest of the journal. And then I think that will look kind of cute. So let's get all of this down next. Couldn't find my art glitter glue. And for those of you who are new, this is a very old, awful looking bottle of art glitter glue. Art glitter is the brand name. It isn't like there's glitter in the glue. This is just a very wonderful, very fast drying glue that has a metal tip that allows you to um, apply it in very specified areas, I guess. I don't know. Somebody have a better way of saying that? <laughs> Put it in the comments. <laughs> oh, me oh my. But it's, it is a wonderful glue and it holds so very well. Now, how do I want to do this? Like that. I just heard my husband come in with the dogs. I hope he doesn't and interrupt us if he does I may I may have to stop the camera he has no idea what I'm up to in here so it won't be his fault I can't get mad at him there I like that a lot and then what I will do off camera is I'm going to make this into a little booklet and now see how the blues play off each other and the green pulls in the other green elements of the journal and it all kind of becomes cohesive. So off camera, um, I'm going to do some more um, work on the journal and then I'll be back to do a, fl a final flip through. <laughs> so I hope this gives you some ideas on ways that you can create different backgrounds, especially playing around in a grungy journal and adding some elements to it and just basically 
have fun. Um, don't let anybody dictate to you what your art should look like. Your art is your art. I hope you have a terrific day. I hope you have a terrific holiday coming up. And if you like what you see today, please click the like button. Subscribe to my channel so you're notified. And it also helps the algorithm so that others can find Junk Journal Gems as well. Have a wonderful day.